What's going on guys, Jake Tuzo with the latest Mustang Automotive News. Today's video, we're going to cover the 2021 Mach 1 Ford just released a new video with the horsepower, the transmission, all the interesting stuff. The horsepower is going to surprise you. The transmission is really going to surprise you, so stay tuned. This car looks exceptional. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will 100%. This is supposed to be 525 horsepower, guys. 450 foot pounds of torque. So, absolutely. Let's check that out again. Let's just rewind. I just want to. I just want to show you this halfway, um, halfway point, so you can see the photo. Excuse me. It's real early in the morning, but I just wanted to. I just wanted to post this for you guys. Um, let's look at this. Look how good this car looks. The the ride height, the splitter here. The front bumper is GT three hundred and fifty all the way. Um, so the, the fangs here, the front splitter, the stance, the wheels. Let's see if we can look at that. That's a piece of art. So GT350 wing. So the reason I like this is because it's not, it's just in the, the wheel. It's like a street, it's like a street car. It's just, it's like, it's also, it looks almost like an RTR car, you know, or something like that. So it's like a street car with big offset wheels, but it's not, it's supposed to, it's supposed to perform as good or better. It's supposed to perform better than the PP2, right? Not quite as good as the GT350, but we'll see about that, but better than the PP2. So it's the most track capable 5.0. This is what Ford says. This is what they say claim so um so we know this is definitely the mach 1 styling obviously we've got the gt350 this is the mach 1 bumper but it looks this is gt350 ish a new fog light turn signal uh area a new splitter front spoiler the hood looks about the same headlights the same fenders the same you're gonna have mach 1 badging high offset wheels with cup two tires a very unique wheel design and i think these wheels are the best wheels i've seen on a mustang factory you've got some unique graphics now notice you've got black painted mirrors you've got the gt350 wing with the the raised lip on the back that probably is adjustable Wow, this car looks really good. Let's go back. Let's see if we can see the interior. So, you're going to have... So, op, digital dash option. Looks like standard seats. They'll probably have some, like, embroidery. Like Mach 1 embroidery. You see Mach 1 on the dash. And these are going to be, like, your performance package gauges on the dash. Obviously, you see a manual transmission. You don't see an automatic. It wouldn't surprise me if they do not offer an automatic. It wouldn't surprise me. Kind of like what they did with the with the boss. Uh, excuse me, with the bullet. With the bullet, they didn't offer 480 horsepower. They upped the horsepower, but they did not offer the 10-speed automatic. So it actually wouldn't surprise me if they didn't offer the 10-speed auto in this car. But man... They've got the stance right. They've got the wheels, tires. So it's definitely going to be lowered. This is not factory ride height. And, oh man, what a good color too. I will get one of these. What do you guys think? I think they nailed it. Look at that. Would you look at that? So, yep, here we are. And then let's see if we can get the quad exhaust. Oh man, look at that color. Yeah, I'm 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 down with this. Let's see if Ford Media has any more photos. Okay, so 
Mach one on the deck lid, uh, and then you've this. This is a gurney flap, is what they call this, and these are definitely GT five hundred sized exhaust tips. So this just flat out looks amazing. I mean, I think this looks better than I know. This is I know you guys aren't gonna like this. I think this looks as good as the GT500. I think it looks better. I think it at least looks as good as the GT500. Because the base GT500 wheels do not look this sexy. And they, they don't have this high offset. And the GT500 bumper can be too aggressive for some people. And I'm more of like a stock body with just a little lip and just a little thing here and there. So this is kind of right up my alley. So I, I now if they offer it, I'm not mad. I'll drive this, the manual for sure. I love that. And then if they do happen to offer the automatic, that would be great as well. But look at these wheels. Ford has nailed it. They absolutely nailed it with this car. Look at that, man. Wow. Oh, wait, what's this one? Is this the blue one? So, I'm trying to get this video out before I go to work for you guys. I have clients at 6 a.m. This is 5 a.m. and I'm working on this for you. So, so this looks like another Mach 1 without the track package. This is what this looks like. So, this says Mach 1 just like this one. This one does not have, this one has the little deck lid spoiler. This one does not have the front, it does, it's not as aggressive. See how this front spoiler sticks out? And then this one does not. So this is a track package car. And then you notice the wheels are different, right? These are more I don't like these wheels. I, I want the track package. Give me the track package car. This is the car I want. You can keep this. This is not bad. There's nothing wrong with this. This looks like an 18 GT with a little bit different wheels. Um, nothing wrong with this car at all. I'm sure it's still going to have the high horsepower engine, 525. But if you're going to want to go around the track, this is the one to have. This one's going to have the Cup 2 tires, probably a little bit different. So, you know, they made a GT350, a GT350R. This is going to be like the Mach 1, and this is going to be like the Mach 1R, if you will. This is going to have the Spec 2, or the Cup 2 tires. If you don't know what Cup 2 tires are, they're like Michelin Pilot Sports. Michelin Pilot Sports are already great tires, but these are going to be like Michelin Pilot Sport tires for the track, primarily for the track. So... Um, you know, you can't really tell anything. The ride height, you can tell there's a little bit more fender gap here. See how this wheel is way up into the fender here. This one is not. So this is this is the this is kind of like the base model Mach One. Nothing wrong with that. I still think it looks way. It, it almost looks like a Ford Focus RS. That's the shape of that turn signal hole. So yeah, I'm. It sounds good. Yeah, I'm I'm totally down with this car. So, all right, guys. Let me know what you think. Let's just run over to Ford Media real quick and then see. If we can find what, um, what this is. So, here it is. Return of the Mach 1. Yeah, so let's just look at some of these photos, guys. 480 horsepower limited edition Mach 1 sets a new 5... Da, 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 da. Uh, it's only going to be 480, guys. All this about the 525 is not true. We are going to get the 3160 Tremec. Okay. 
All right, here it is. Let's start. Let's take it from the top, guys. So, you're only going to get the 480 horsepower. And it is going to offer the 10 speed auto, which is good. Front fascia, grills for cooling dynamics, low, uh, low gloss magnetic, and black accents. The Mach 1's back after 17 years. This is one of those special Mustangs. Da, 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 da. I don't care if it's 480 horsepower. It is way, way good looking. 420 torque, 480 horsepower. Intake manifold. So it's going to have a GT350 composite intake manifold, oil filter adapter, engine cooler, increase engine engine oil cooling capacity by 50%. Well, it already takes. This is already eight eight quarts. So it's going to be another four. So it's early in the morning, but I think that's 12. Unless it's a 10 quart system, unless the 18s are 10 quart systems. But anyways, that's a lot. That's a lot of oil. Um, the all-new version leans on decades for wearing a uniquely crafted front end for aerodynamic efficiency and a host of Ford performance parts that help celebrate its iconic heritage like the, um, the circular uh, things in the grills. Mach 1 comes standard with a Tremec 3166 speed manual from the Shelby GT350. So that's amazing. It also has a rev matching. That's cool. First, Ford has outfitted this with a rev matching, and the transmission is paired with the GT350 oil cooler system and Mustang GT's twin disc clutch and short throw shifter. Drivers can also get the 10 speed auto with an upgraded torque converter and unique calibration that enables optimized torque capability, shift character, and overall enhanced performance. A second air to Second air to oil cooler increases cooling capacity 75%. Okay. Okay, okay. This talks about the uh, the exterior and then new 19 by 9.5, 19 by 10, 5 spoke. That's what we saw on kind of the base one. And then those are the classic Magnum 500 side wheels. And then the handling package car. That's what we saw earlier. Comes standard with a unique wider 19 by 10.5 front and 19 by 11 rear. The hand is exclusively available with Tremec. The handling package exclusively available with the Tremec 3166 speed manual. Also includes a larger. So if you have the handling package, you can only get it with the manual. Also includes a larger, unique, higher downforce splitter, new front wheel lip moldings, and low gloss magnetic swing spoiler with a gurney flap and rear tire spats from a GT500. Very cool. Satin black side and hood stripes are included with reflective accent stripes, red, white, and orange appearance body only. I like this one. The, the fighter jet gray for the appearance package as well as iconic silver blood. Da, 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 da. The interior features dark center ebony seats. Built to perform the Mach 1 engineering and design teams front end unique to the Mach 1 persona that also meets the high aerodynamic demands of the engine transmission and braking system. Okay. A new two piece upper grill, lower grill, valence and new side grills all contribute to Mach 1's signature look and more demanding aero cooling performance. A front splitter optimized to the fascia shape improves track performance and provides a more aggressive appearance. While a matched rear spoiler works in concert to in concert to create ideal lift balance, the Mach 1 features 22% more downforce than a Mustang GT with performance pack level one, and the downforce improvement jumps to approximately 150% with the handling package. So if you're gonna do track work, probably handling package. To enhance track endurance, the team added two side heat exchangers, one to cool the engine oil and the other the transmission oil as well as rear axle cooling system and lower diffuser from so we're finally learning that the rear axle overheats and we're fixing it is what they said thank goodness a new underbelly pan the vehicle's most aerodynamically important upgrade the underbelly pan I probably just channels the air better uh extends 20 inches further rearward than on the mustang gt performance pack to smooth and increase the airflow under the front of the car 
Large under wing features in the belly pan increase downforce while special belly pan bacon da, 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 da. to improve ride Mach 1 features the latest Magna Ride, a steer a stiffer steering eye shaft, new e pass calibration, stiffer sway bars and front springs, a brake booster from the Mustang G performance da, da. Very, very cool guys. Very cool. And if you want to check out the video, uh, if you want to check out the photos, yeah, man. Oh, the blues, I'm digging the blue. So I'll post some of these up as well. I love the way. It, let's let's check out this blue photo. Let's download the big boy. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at those wheels. Ford's finally doing better with the wheels. I can't, yeah. I'm not going to say anything, but some of these, these look good though. But I'm definitely digging the parents package better. The, um, the handling package is definitely what I'm, what I'm digging. Which is, let's see if we can get a good like side shot kind of this car. Yeah, let's check this one out. This one is the one. Look at that, man. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Jake T's the latest Mustang and automotive news. Catch you next time.